Hey, going, what's going on guys? Just wanted to uh, drop you guys a quick message I uh, thought I had today. Hopefully it'll brighten somebody's day, maybe help you guys out um, if you need it. But uh, myself, I've just been thinking today about uh, being thankful for everything that we have already and being thankful for being in the moment that we're in. Uh, it just made me think of it because we're, we're trying to plan our family vacation for this summer. And... Um, as you guys know, we have a whole bunch of kids, so uh, we were in between choices of Universal Studios and, like, uh, Disney World and things like that, and I'm like, what the heck, dude? Like, I haven't traveled since I've been out of the Marines, like, traveled, like, to do, like, adult things. Everything, most of the things that we do are, like, kid things. Like, we go Frankenmuth, which I freaking love Frankenmuth. It's so fun for all of us. And Orlando and Universal Studios would be the same. I was just thinking, like, oh, in my mind, I wanted to go to Kentucky, go to the distilleries down there, or uh, or um, go down to Gatlinburg and have some fun in Tennessee, or down to uh, Myrtle Beach, visit Grandma, have fun. But um, Megan wants to do the kid thing, go down to uh, Universal State. Sounds bad. Megan wants to do the kid thing. I didn't mean that. But um, she wants to do, like, things for the kids. You know what I mean? So the kids will have a whole bunch of fun. And, like, in my mind, I'm like, what the heck? Uh, well, a little bit. I was like, oh, I want to do like a what I wanted to do for like mostly adults, but it would have been fun for the kids too. But like I'm thinking here, like holy cow, because in my mind I'm like, oh man, they're so young right now. Um, so we're gonna like every vacation is gonna have to be like that. But what I'm not thinking about is like I'm sitting here thinking, and I'm like, holy cow, man, when they're only here for like a few years, like. Everyone's here, obviously, till they're 18 or whatever. But even when they become teenagers, like, we're not going to be able to do the small things like we do now anymore. Like, Frankenmuth, things like that. Or uh, Disney, Universal Studios. Last time I was at Universal Studios, we were it was like our high school senior trip last time I was down there. So I just remind myself, dude, like, we have to enjoy, like, the moments that we're in right now. Like, holy cow, I'm not going to have young kids for a long time. And then we're going to wish that we had them back i think there's a country song you're gonna miss this that just came to my head but um there's things like that like wrestling like holy cow schedule's packed right now we have um wrestling going on i i do wrestling we do it like every day pretty much if we don't have practice we're practicing downstairs or we're going to meets like we just did states last week we're going to nationals we have wayne's for nationals tonight individual nationals tomorrow team nationals on sunday and then we have soccer that starts next week already. So I'm like, holy cow, so busy. But um, I don't know. Thinking about that made me just, I don't know, like, okay, these are the moments we should enjoy because we don't have – I'm going to miss – when they're gone, I'm going to miss coaching. I'll probably end up coaching kids that I don't even know later on. I love coaching. So just it got me thinking about that. And then also, <clears throat> aside from that, like to relate to everybody else who doesn't have kids, like it even – it even my mind as I'm – as I was driving here to pick up stuff for the food truck, um, my mind went to other things. Like we should be thankful for like where we are. Like you ever, you ever like see a friend or somebody doing really well and you're like, Oh man, they're doing really well. And then you're like, I don't know why, but we always compare it <clears throat> to ourselves. Like, okay, okay, well, what am I doing? Okay. Well, I'm not there yet, but we shouldn't do that. Like I always do that. Or my our minds always go there. My mind always goes there. Like, okay, hmm, they're doing really well. And then you always compare it. Like, okay, am I doing good? We all have different talents, and every one of us has a talent. And um, we just got to be thankful for the moment that we're in and what we're doing because we never know, man. Like, um, I don't know, 2013, I was manager at Taco Bell. And then um, well, we'll even back it up after my college internships were – I had so much fun working in Mackinac, working different places. Third, 2013, I was working at Taco Bell. And I'm like, okay, cool. This this pays well. I'm a manager of uh, of Taco Bells. And then and then I really thought I made it. I was a I got up and I, I moved up as director of operations for uh, Sweet Lorraine's Mac and Cheese. And I'm like, oh wow, this is really good. I'm 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 uh, uh I'm financially where I want to be. And then like a month into it, I'm like, okay, no, I want to, I want, I want to make this much, and then now we're here. We own a food truck. We're getting ready to own this ice cream parlor. We're getting ready to do this, and I'm always like, okay, now what do we do next? But we're missing where we're at. Like no matter what you're doing, we always think about where we're at, 
or where we want to be. I want to keep my goals, but I want to enjoy where I'm at like today. So I'm just challenging myself today and I wanted to share it with you guys too. Like, um, whatever job you have, if you're not happy with it, or even, it doesn't even have to be a job, just whatever moment you're in right now, enjoy it because you're there for a reason. And then five years from now, you're not going to be there. You're going to be somewhere else. And then you're always going to try to be like, oh, I want to be there. And then your life's going to go by so fast. So I'm just challenging everyone. Enjoy where you're at. It's like the book, uh, uh, what's that Mitch album book? Um, what book was that? Yeah, the five, I think it's five people you meet in heaven. I read that a few years back, but it's about like, he, long story short, his parents owned an amusement park. So he always worked there. He worked there. And then, um, like every day that was all he wanted to do or all he was doing. He wanted to get out of that. Ended up, uh, a little girl got stuck on a ride or something and he went to go save her and, um, he ended up dying. So he gets to heaven and meets like a bunch of people that like enjoyed him at the amusement park. And then he meets the little girl, um, he meets a little girl at the amusement park and I forget what it was. It ended up where you get to pick, like you get to pick where you wanted to be or what kind of heaven you wanted to, it's not biblically based, but you want, you got to pick what kind of heaven that you wanted to have. And after talking to the little girl, um, long story short, again, he was, uh, the only place he wanted to be, the heaven that he chose was to be back in the amusement park. The whole time where he was at and dreaded the whole time. So it's kind of reminded me just to share real quick. I wanted to be real quick, but it's already at seven minutes over here. Um, so hopefully that helps somebody. Just wherever you're at right now, man, let's enjoy today where we're at, no matter where you're at. Because we're going to be somewhere else and we're always going to have our goals and we're always going to be doing better or striving to do better than what we're doing now. But let's enjoy the moment that we're in now. So, all right, guys, uh, hope that uh, helps somebody.